A decade-long civil war has crippled Syria's health system and the small number of hospitals still standing are struggling to cope with the COVID-19 pandemic. When you ask them for social distances, they don't really pay attention to that or to wear a mask and they do really believe um, they have to survive first and then to talk about such things. Doctors warn it's almost impossible to know the true extent of the outbreak because Syria has one of the lowest COVID-19 testing rates in the world. UNICEF estimates about 570 COVID-19 tests are performed daily in Syria. That's vastly lower than testing rates in India, for example, where about 1.7 million people are tested each day, or the UK, where more than 450,000 are tested. We know that the testing is very low because our capacity is limited and we do believe we're going to have some hike in the numbers of COVID people infected in COVID-19. In anticipation, dedicated COVID isolation centres opened in northern Syria this week with the help of the Turkish government and international medical charities. Our goal with this centre is to take pressure off the hospitals and also try to slow the spread of the disease. December saw a peak in infection rates with almost 3,000 new cases, the highest monthly total since the outbreak began a year ago. But perhaps even more worrying, a large number of those new cases were medical staff. I contracted COVID-19, but thank God my symptoms weren't very bad. Testing positive is something all doctors here are prepared for. Syria is relying on the World Health Organization's COVAX program for access to vaccines, but they're not expected to arrive until May at the very earliest. For a community already in crisis, that's a delay it can ill afford.